So welcome, this is Dennis from the Flip Fluids add-on development team and uh, I want to show you how to get started with this great add-on. So uh, once you have uh, installed and opened or start Blender, the next thing you would have to do is to install the add-on. Um, to do this, go to File, User Preferences, let me do this in full screen and click on Install add-on from file. So then you have to find the place where your file is placed, the folder. For me it's here. And click on install add-on from file. And um, then all files will be copied to your hard drive in the Blender folder. Um, then we have to enable this checkbox here. Save user settings and close this window and now you can see there's a new button flip fluid here um, there's also another fluid button here this is from blender's internal fluid engine but uh, what we are going to use is this flip fluid button here okay and um, I want to show you how easy it is to use this add-on so um, like with any other simulation software you need a new domain to uh, limit the simulation space and I would say this uh, box will be the domain and make it a little bit bigger and place it here I'm going to call this domain and all what we have to do now is click on the flip fruits button and select the type of this object so here's a uh, pop-up and you can choose uh, between different things. The domain is uh, what we are going to need now. Uh, fluid is um, um, fluids to start with. This is not an inflow outflow. It's uh, just fluid that still is there. An obstacle is an obstacle. Inflow is something like um, any object that will emit water, and outflow is um, something that will delete fluids from your scene. Okay, so let's go with the domain. So once this is loaded, you will see. It automatically is drawn as a wireframe or bounding box because we thought it um, is a best thing and a good workflow because it will not be rendered. It's just a limitation uh, for the simulator. So this is why you will see this as a wireframe and um, this will not be rendered. As you can see, it's empty here. Okay. And next thing we would need is let's say something like fluid that is already there let me take this cube here I'll scale it of course you can make it a little bit bigger than the domain uh, the add-on will cut it yeah and now click again on flip fluids let's say this is fluid and this will be drawn as a wireframe again because you do not want to see the source object of the fluids, you just want to see the simulated objects later in time. Okay, and let's say we want to have a drop that falls in that here, so uh, we can use another sphere here. Click on flip fluids and click on fluid again. And uh, now let's go, let's simulate this thing here. Click on the domain, click on bake, and you will see it start to bake. And uh, what is cool is the simulator tells you uh, how long it will take to finish the simulation. And uh, you will find some statistics here. Cache information, you see how many uh, frames has been completed, how long it will take, how big the things are. And you can have frame infos per frame, so when you are going to scrub through the timeline, you will see uh, all the statistics based on the frame we are on. Okay, so and uh, you can see there's a sphere falling, there's actually no white water particles because you didn't enable white water simulation, it's just a, a fluid surface. And um, let me show you something, you can stop now. Well, and uh, save your file, you can close Blender or whatever, or start a new object or a project. And uh, when you open this file again, you just have to click on Resume Baking, and Baking will continue. Really cool. I love this. 
Okay, but now we have enough here. So, uh, as you can see, the domain and um, the fluid that was already there and the fluid object here, a wireframe. As I told you, because uh, the original object should not be visible in a render. And um, let's call this helper objects or source objects. They will be placed on this layer here. Okay, so if you want to change things, you can use this layer and uh, let's say move this source here, make this bigger or smaller or whatever. And uh, if you want to see only the, in the viewport what you would see in the final render, you just you adjust this layer here. Then play the animation. So I think this is a clever system. And while holding the shift key, you can enable both layers here so you can work with this greatly here. Okay, so um, let me delete the source here and let me let me select the domain and reset the cache. So and let me add another object here. here. Let's say this is uh, inflow and let's say we will have an obstacle too. So, I'll take cube again, rotate it like this, a little bit smaller, all right. So, if this is uh, not animated or anything else, it will be enough to click on flip fluids, obstacle, and finish. But uh, if it would be animated, you uh, and it's a complicated animation with physics data or something like the fracture modifier, uh, it is recommended to use export animated mesh here. Okay, it will be slightly slower, but uh, helpful to have a better animation. Okay, so when this has been set up. Oh, you see, um, this object will not be drawn on the wireframe or bounding box because this is something you will see in the final render. So this is what the scene actually looks like. These are all simulation objects, and okay, so. The domain. Let's uh, simulate some uh, white water too. So we have to go to the white water panel here. Enable white water. We want to have foam, bubbles, and spray. And all we have to do now is click on bake. And here we go. I'll make a short break. So now we have. Uh, nearly 80 frames baked and I think this will be enough now and so let's play the animation and uh, you have the inflow here, the obstacle, you see this uh, nice white water particles here and that looks very good and um, if you take a look to the outliner here you can open the domain and you will find the white water bubbles from the spray objects here and the surface so you could uh, hide the surface here and uh, let's hide the other stuff and have a look each by each what it is. So uh, bubbles will be generated uh, under the surface, okay? And you will find foam that will uh, on top of the fluid's surface and of course some spray that is flying around in the air and you will find the surface here. And uh, what you should know is on the left side in the tool shelf is a flip fluids panel 2. Um, it will help you to find some buttons that often are used uh, without the need to uh, click always back on the domain here and uh, switch search and switch the panels on the right side. So this is cool to use on the left side the panel here. And uh, you can, let's say, Makes the viewport uh, look in a final resolution and below frame or in the preview simulation mode. So, I hope this was helpful for you to uh, find a good start into this nice piece of software, and uh, more tutorials will follow soon.